Hey everyone, I wanted to give you guys a quick update of what went down at the City Council meeting last night regarding the Rosetta Canyon Sports Park. Gotta give our Mayor Steve Manis a huge thank you for bringing this issue to the City Council. The issue at hand is the sports park is always locked for us residents here in Rosetta Canyon. I'm Broker Craig with Hilltop Realty, your neighborhood realtor. So here's a quick rundown of the results from last night's city council meeting. The company was invited by Mayor Steve Manos to come and um, see what was happening uh, regarding the fields and uh, they didn't show up. Two, the city council agreed that it was an issue that the fields were locked for us residents here in Rosetta Canyon. And lastly, uh, they, they did ultimately decide to go to um, subcommittees for uh, for review with their staff. So here we go, no further ado, here goes the clips from last evening. I'm assuming everyone read the staff report. There were numerous complaints. I have not received many of those, I guess, but I'm happy to facilitate whatever the council desires or if there's change in policy or if you want further discussion. Um, anyway, that concludes my report. Thank you, sir, appreciate that. Uh, any written requests to speak on this item? We have one request, uh, Craig Hilburn. Mr. Hilburn, please come forward. Good evening, how are you guys doing? Doing well, thank you. I'm gonna make this quick. He pretty much addressed everything I, I was gonna say right now, but um, I, it's really frustrating. Uh, Monday through Friday, when you pick your son up or your children up from school, and you see all the baseball fields there, and they're all locked up. And all you wanna do is go play ball, go hit some balls with your son. Um, it would just be really great. There are a lot of dads that feel the same way. Um, uh, we can go play some pickup games uh, down at the ball fields. It, it, it'd create a better environment down there instead of just seeing it just a ghost town from Monday through Friday. We understand the financial implications over the weekend and what it brings to the city, and that's outstanding. It's just us residents at Rosetta Canyon want to be able to um, access them when they're available during the week. That is all. That would be great. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Hilburn. Um, I actually brought this up again. It's something that I've initiated, so I just want to go ahead and give the, this public a little background that this has first been a problem. November 18, 2016, I've got a uh, Mike Carrasco who says, I've got a picture here of the uh, ball fields, public fields, question mark. Why are they locked? Rosetta Park came here to have batting practice with my girls and all fields are locked. Um, I've had complaints and I haven't logged all of them because I, I'm not staff, I don't do that, but I get phone calls. Robert Revis is another person that went ahead and complained. Very upsetting to go ahead and come down to public fields that aren't being utilized and not have this addressed. Uh, and then more recently, I had a resident actually go ahead and come out and say that not only did they come out to go ahead and use the fields when they weren't in use, but the management company that was on site chased them off the fields and told them that the fields were for tournament use only, okay? This is a terrible optic as far as this city goes. It's not right. And I've, I've had the conversation with staff several times and apparently I have, I have confusion over the, uh, the policy, which is the reason for the, the policy discussion. Um, obviously, these are tournament fields. Obviously, they are intended to be utilized primarily by organizations that run tournaments. That requires the use and they're crawling with kids. My own nieces play on those fields. My own nieces and nephews play on those fields. So I know Lake Elsinore residents are enjoying them, but when they're not being utilized, there should be no reason why a father and a son or a father and a daughter shouldn't be able to go down to those fields and play a game of catch or take some batting practice. And I understand the concerns about, you know, staff has concerns about vandalism and things of that nature. That is part and parcel of what we have to go ahead and consider when we're making these parks and facilities. We have to go ahead and it's part of the cost of doing business as far as the city goes, in my opinion. I would like a very clear-cut policy that, I don't, I don't need the championship field open, but I'd like the other fields open. I don't, I don't, I don't like them having a lock in, during business hours. I really don't. The lock should come off, and, and if there's nobody on there, then people should be able to play, uh, especially single individuals. If, if, you know, obviously, if they're reserved, uh, then uh, those folks should be shoot off the fields. Uh, I asked to have the management company come out so we could make sure that we have agreement on this by the end of the day. These are things that I'd like. I'm open to going ahead and hearing what everybody else has to say, but these should be public fields first and foremost because our structure is residents come first, 
not organizations, not companies, not, not people trying to go ahead and make a buck, not the city even trying to make a buck. The residents come first, and that's not happening right now. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I had the opportunity to go meet with Mr. Simpson on Friday afternoon when this item came up um, because, frankly, I've not received any complaints about the park. Um, but I hear the mayor loud and clear also didn't know they were locked. It's been a long time since I coached Little League, um, and uh, I'll just be honest. If I showed up with my boy and that thing was locked, I would have flipped out. Okay. Uh, with all that said, any further discussion? All those in favor, please indicate so by saying what. Sending it back to the we're sending it back to the subcommittee. Yeah. All those in favor, please indicate so by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously with all members present voting in the affirmative. That moves us finally to public comments. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button for the newest up-to-date videos.